I think this, this seems like a logical course of action. Local health officials are calling it a step in the right direction and our best chance at fighting a rapid increase of COVID-19. And this statewide surge shows no sign of stopping. Just yesterday, Marion County reported more than 700 new cases. Central Indiana's largest school district, IPS, will move to virtual learning November 23rd. Wayne Township starts Monday. Now is the time that we have to take some action to slow the spread as we head into what is probably going to be 8 to 12 weeks of, of a potentially rough winter. IU's Director of Infection Prevention says 13% of all positive tests are happening in children under the age of 19. But with most being asymptomatic, they can contribute to a large community spread. We really are at a really tough juncture. Our COVID rates are spreading really fast and furiously. Health officials say elementary age students have the lowest positivity rate at 8%. Meanwhile, high school students are showing a positivity rate of more than 18%. Adolescents, um, whether it's middle school or high school, are better transmitters than the younger children tend to be. There's some scientific hints at that. Dr. Christopher Belcher says that's due to extracurricular activities, which the county will also limit come November 30th. Coming into school, kids may try to gather. After school, kids may gather. And um, I think it will help more with those kind of things uh, than actual in the classroom transmission. Still, doctors, nurses, and health officials agree schools can't be in it alone. To get this down, everyone needs to mask up and maintain their distance. That's the only way we're going to put the brakes on this. In Indianapolis, I'm Bianca Reyes, CBS 4 News. Bianca, thank you. And doctors say it'll take two to three weeks after restrictions are in place to see how it impacts our overall hospitalization totals. These new restrictions are set to expire, by the way, January 15th.